Hi everyone. I know we were a couple minutes late this morning, but that's okay. Mornings, mornings like that happen. Hi. All right. Let's scroll up. Question of the day today is, what is your most used kitchen gadget slash small appliance? I put small appliance because I knew everybody could choose their fridge because we all constantly use our fridge. So that one didn't count. Uh, so let's see. Oh, dang it. The top one is covering. Hang on. Let's see who's at the top. Let me use my phone. There we go. It's Brooke. So Brooke says, good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a good day. It's Friendsgiving at the library tonight. I made homemade Texas Roadhouse rolls from scratch. Nice, Brooke. I love it. Let's see. Kim, good morning. Ari, good morning. Mona, good morning. Mona says, my most used appliance is my Ninja Foodie air fryer. I love that thing. I've heard so many good things about an air fryer. I should probably look into an air fryer. Let's see. Kim says my microwave. Yep. Let's see. Brooke says my most used kitchen gadget is my kitchen aid stand mixer. Oh, see, I have one of the, I don't have a stand mixer, but I have a hand mixer. And yes, I, I love that thing so much. Let's see. Kara, good morning. May Lynn, good morning. Sheila, good morning. Let's see. Although Sheila, I'm realizing I'm saying Sheila, but is it Sheila? because it's an IA, well, let me know. I feel like I've been pronouncing it wrong because the IA says, yeah, anyway, I'm thinking too much. Um, <laughs> let's see. Kara says, kitchen gadget or small appliance, probably kettle for your hot Milo. What's a hot Milo? Let's see, Bonnie, good morning. Megan says, definitely my toaster. Microwave for heating up leftovers. Maylan says, coffee pot and microwave. Melissa, good morning. Tina, good morning. Let's see, oh wait, I hopped down. Where did we go? Let's see. Shanna says, hey, like my new microwave because it plays little jingles when it's done. It's a very, where is it like the washing machines where it's like, doo, 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 like when it's all done? Because that's adorable. Let's see. Marcy says, good morning. And gals of chat question today is love my air fryer. Very nice. I was curious to see if anybody was going to say the one that I'm going to say, because I don't know if this is a normal, like everybody has one of these in their households. And honestly, if you don't, you probably should. But I'll tell you in a second. Let's see, Sheila says, Instapot and coffee pot, very nice. Let's see, Mandy, good morning. You're saying it correctly, okay. Well, is it option one, Sheila, or option two, Sheila? Because I'm questioning every, I have a story to tell you guys yesterday, like I'm questioning absolutely everything I'm thinking. And hello, it's this tie between my Ninja Footy Grill and my waffle maker. Oh. Oh yeah, my waffle maker, I forgot about that. How could I forget about my waffle maker? Option one, Sheila, okay. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> Let's see. It's more of a do loo loo or do. Well, I guess I can't get get levels of tone there, but do loo loo loo. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Angela says, my favorite is my electric tea kettle, boil my coffee and tea water. Very nice. Diane says, I'm not sure what was going on, but I heard the do do beep beep thing and my washer does that too. It sings and it's done. I love that. Hi, Diane. Oh my gosh. Well, welcome everybody. So my, um, maybe not my most used, but one of the kitchen gadgets that my mom had when I lived at home that I, we just really, I felt like we really needed. <laughs> Melissa, what is real? I know, right? Um, was my, uh, we have an electric cheese grater. I don't know if anybody else has one of these, but like little Steve really likes mac and cheese or anytime we use, uh, we make like burritos, anytime we need to grate a lot of cheese. It's technically called a salad shooter and you can, you know, do cabbage for coleslaw and everything in there, but we use it mostly for cheese graters and it looks, kind of like this. It's got this part here and then it's got a handle here and it sits on a little thing and it's got a handle. The cheese goes in here and out comes all the grated cheese. <laughs> oh, Melissa, it's so handy and it's not super expensive. I think it's literally just called like a salad shooter. It's so handy. It's so handy. Like I said, my mom had one and I can't not have one. Anyway, it's it's amazing for shredded cheese. And it has like, it has a regular grated little, cause the the um, the little grating blades, you can take them out and interchange them. Wait, really? You guys haven't heard? Okay, 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 okay. I'm about to change your grating life here. Let me, let me pull it up on Amazon. Surely they have it on there. All right, salad shooter. Let's see. Perfect, this is the exact one that I have, it's the green and white, and it's absolutely amazing. Hang on. 
Hang on. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. It's amazing, right, Maylin? They're so nice. Well, and the, you'll see on the picture, I just posted the link to it. So inside there's little cups that look like this and they have different blades on them. And I've read, like it comes with two. I, I'm sure you have purchased more for it, but it's got the standard cheese grater one. And then it's got one that has the straight slicer. And so you send it in here, the cups lay here, and then it goes in here, great, 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 and out it comes. It's amazing. Let's see, most used gadget, I don't use often, but probably the garlic, oh, the garlic. Okay, so here's my garlic mincer issue. I have one that has the little wheels on it and I roll it back and forth. Um, but I have a tendency to like tap it on its head to try and get all the garlic down to the bottom so I can kind of like scoop it out. Um, and I crack the top of it. <laughs> oh my gosh, yes, this is going to be a game changer for you. Yeah, it's amazing because when we make homemade mac and cheese, we have to grate a ton of cheese or like burritos or, oh, a hand cranked one, okay. No, I love that gadget like so much. Um, let's see, did I have any announcements? No real announcements of any kind. I figured we can just kind of dive right in. Oh, oh, I could show you what I was working on yesterday. Uh, the subscribers on Instagram got a sneak peek of how far along I made it in the page, but I'll let you guys take a sneaky peeky. Right here, I'm working on this one slowly. I'm using polychromos. Um, I posted a reel yesterday. Oh, egg slicer. Oh, nice, Angela. Yeah, it's fantastic. Although I could have swore, like, see now the price of it. I could have swore that it was cheaper when we got it. But yeah, it's amazing. And I love it like so much. Um, but oh, thanks. Oh, good, Mandy. So yeah, I'm slowly working on it. Paul, Paul is going nuts here. If I do not let him in, hang on. Hang on, he's clearly feeling very emotional. Hey bud, you coming in to see everybody? You hear me talking to someone. Like he's in here like looking around like, who's in here with you? Anyway, um, yeah, so there's that one. Also, you spied on the neighbors. <laughs> I just got this image of you. What was that name of that show? Uh, I know like Family Guy made a parody of it a couple times, but like, Oh, like, it's not Aunt B. It might have been, um, oh gosh, what was that show with Dick Van Dyke? The... Oh wait, it was just called The Dick Van Dyke Show. <laughs> I think maybe she was on that one, but I'm not sure. Um, the other thing is, just clicked on the camera. Okay, if it helps, I totally peek out my window. Like if the neighbors are being extra noisy, like I'll, I'll be the, the creeper poking my eyes through the blinds being like, turn up the light, I don't want them to see me. Like there was one night, it was like 1 a.m. And the neighbor like on the other, <laughs> ding, 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 there you go. That's what it was, yeah. Oh, Andy Griffith's show. Oh, I was mixing him up. See, my brain, I'm telling you. Um, but yeah, the neighbor was like out there, like looking up in the sky. And then like he took this big box of stuff and he set it on the, the sidewalk. And then he like tipped the box over. And then he stood the box up, like he tipped it over on purpose. Like he thought he would sit out there. <laughs> Shanna, I'll go out there with the chair, I don't care. <laughs> and then he like stood it back up and then he like repositioned it. And then he picked it up and he took it back inside. And then he took his phone out and was like holding it up to the sky. I'm like, dude, why are you, what are you doing? <laughs> Ah, uh, thanks, yeah, so, um, oh, Paul, no, 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 kitty. Hang on, guys. No, okay, no, you don't get to be in here, guys. Oh my gosh, I have so many stories to tell you. Like, I file them away. Um, on my bookshelf here behind my desk, I have this little cloth, like, draped over the top because it looks pretty. Um, and I have Renee's uh, pencil holder up there, right? Well, the pencils, they fit nicely in there, but it's not like there's anything gripping on them. Well, when Paul wants something or he's annoyed, he will come in here and um, like pester about everything. Anyway, no joke. He reached up, he grabbed the cloth, looked at me straight in the eye and pulled it down, which caused everything that was on the cloth to go flying. Now keep in mind right now, I have some Lumis, I have some Polly's and I have some Black Widows all in Renee's pencil holder. And Paul literally made it fly off the bookshelf, hit the wall, and then hit the floor where it just exploded and the pencils went everywhere. I was livid. I was like, oh, because he literally just chucked my most expensive, most fragile pencils onto the wall. A 
and onto the floor. I was just like, no. And just now he tried to do it again because like, yeah. Anyway, I'm not taking any chances with that boy. He is trying my nerves. I love him and he's adorable, but hot dang. He, he knows, he knows what to do. Oh my word. Okay, so the other thing I was gonna mention, I'm all over the place. The other thing I was gonna mention about Rooms of Wonder, um, I got that third copy, right? Uh, I did, I got that third copy from Target and it does in fact have some of those printer lines on them. So considering how many people have um, also got it here, this one has it more. Um, it's definitely was a manufacturer thing um, where they all came from, from the US, not just this. These ones seem a little bit lighter than my other US book. But anyway, this one came from Target. See, it was science. I had to order the book for science. Anyway, so I have a third copy of Rooms of Wonder now. We're definitely gonna be doing um, some more Rooms of Wonder. Uh, but yeah, for today, we are doing this one and we are using Prismacolors. I don't know if we'll get to the whole thing. We're gonna get as far as we can. And then this will be the last day with this because like he's a cat. Oh, he was a, like you ever see that clip of the cat that like, like is pushing, pushing the thing along on the coffee table and stops and looks at the owner and then pushes it off the rest of the way. And then it does the dun, 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 dun. It's for science, Shannon. It absolutely was anyway. That was Paul. See if it is, is he can be so cute and cuddly when he wants to, but other times I'm just like, oh, oh. Right, and the coffee cup. Um, I got this from Hammerly Ceramics. Um, I can't justify the purchase. Like, I, it's totally worth it because he's super skilled, but I got lucky and they had, he had a second sale, which is usually his pieces that have flaws, but still functional. And so there's a little bit of glaze that doesn't stay here, but I like it. It's my favorite cup, so it's totally cool. It has personality. Saw it at Barnes & Noble, had the lines too. Oddly enough, my Barnes & Noble didn't like have it at all. Coloring the back cover rooms of wonder. Oh, nice, Mandy. Oh, I was gone yesterday. My Steve said our big dog pulled the cat tree dispenser off the counter and the three dogs had themselves a $15 dog dinner. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I was livid. Like, I don't usually, more so, you know, if the cats are doing something naughty, I'll be like, no, shoot, you know, shoo them away from whatever they're doing. But like, he did it and it was like slow motion and I was just mortified. Needless to say, yesterday I was using, absolutely, they're worth it because they're so skilled and like, I would buy all the cups if I could, but so I was just happy to be able to get the seconds because I think he only put it for like $35. And so, so to give you guys a little bit of, um, if you're not totally familiar with the ceramic scene, the handmade mugs are like upwards of like 70, closer, like even more, like they're they're really expensive. Like, but he had a second one. Draw by your face from the cat tower. Oh my gosh, how many wounds did you have? Also, my initial plan was to do green, but I'm kind of thinking like, Maybe more of a turquoise because in my head, like I realize she's kind of looking like a uh, bell from Beauty and the Beast. Hi, Michelle. Sounds good, Dawn. Okay, so let's grab, let's get our colors and then I'll finish telling you my stories. Cause I could just sit here and like, just talk to you all and, and then not do anything because this is totally what I would do. Uh, let's see, PC 105 for cobalt turquoise. I didn't know that's parrot green. Oh, I must have cobalt turquoise out already. I do. All right, cobalt turquoise. And let's do aquamarine. Yeah, why don't we do that? Cobalt turquoise, aquamarine, and light aqua. Those are all really pretty colors. I like that a lot. And let's grab, just in case we need it. I actually run a little low on dark green. Peacock green, let's grab peacock green. Let's see, that is 907. It's also little, but that's okay. Okay, let's see. Right, that's what I, after I saw yours with the blue too, Ev, I was just like, huh, it does look a little bit like Belle. All right, we're gonna give these a quick sharpen. Um, yeah, so I'm lucky that my brain is working. <laughs> You're good. Uh, Yes, it absolutely does. Yeah, small gadget, because it's a small appliance. Absolutely. Um, yesterday, so I have things labeled with Ev's handy dandy label maker. 
Um, and I've got uh, my bags of coffee, but of course I've got my decaf and I've got my regular, and then Steve has his coffee beans because he likes the flavored coffee beans and I just don't. Um, anyway, so I came down yesterday and I legitimately was confused. Like I didn't know whose coffee was whose and I had to call Steve because I couldn't remember if I keep my beans in a tin and then ground, I, I don't know. I was completely confused. Like you just have those moments where something just flat out does not make sense. And I couldn't figure out what my problem is. And then, and then, and also as it turns out, they were his beans and I went ahead and got a label maker and everything's labeled down there now. <laughs> Hi Amira. Um, but I couldn't figure out like what my problem was. So I'm using the cobalt turquoise. And so I had to call Steve and figure everything out. And then I got hit by a really gnarly migraine yesterday. And I was just like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I don't know, does anybody get any, um, no worries, Kara. Does anybody get any like pre-migraine symptoms? Mmm, air fryer, Dominique, I like it. Cause that was totally me yesterday. Like I just could not believe how confused I was. Right, Kim? Yes. Like it, it's obvious now this morning, like it shouldn't have been that confusing. Of course, those are Steve's coffee beans. Like, and you know, obviously he wouldn't have cared if I used them, but I don't like his coffee and I was smelling it. And for some reason, like I couldn't figure out, I, I like had to smell test comparison, my stuff in the bag to his, like it just was not obvious to me. And I was like, what is wrong with me? So I got some work done and everything. And by the time about noon hit, uh, I started feeling a, a migraine coming on and I was just like, okay. Cause sometimes it doesn't come on super quick. Uh, but this one, like I could, like it could stay like small for a while until I decide to go ahead and take something for it. But this one, like I could like feel it like building up and like way faster than it normally does. It wasn't just like all of a sudden it came on either. Like usually, like I said, it's like a little one that will just kind of hang out until eventually I'm like, okay, I need to take something for it. Like I could feel this one grow over the course of like 30 minutes. And I was just like, this is completely ridiculous anyway. But I felt less bad because it made sense because I was feeling so off. Right, Shannon? Yes, exactly. It's not usually that bad and that pronounced for me. Like um, I get what's called uh, allodynia, which is like patches of, of of nerve pain. I know it's it sounds really weird, but like for instance, sometimes I'll get it on my hand where it starts like to my wrist and it's just this section and the two fingers. And it almost feels like, oh, Kara, thank you. It almost feels like a really bad sunburn. Exclamation point height for Kara. Oh, you're good, Ev. We all have those days. And we're gonna throw in some of those high emotes. Good morning, Julie. Anyway, that usually precedes it also. And I was just like- Sparkling heart. This is Sparkling just, anyway, heart. it ended up Sparkling knocking me heart. down for a good portion of the day. And I was just like, well, okay, then guess that's what's happening today. That's when I was looking at Brian, I say, am I having a stroke? Really, Shannon, that's what it felt like. Like, I couldn't believe, like I legitimately had to call Steve, send him a video, show him what I was looking at on the counter going, I don't understand, like what is, I don't know, part of me, like it, it's it's almost kind of scary. It's just like, my God, is this like a sign that I'm gonna get Alzheimer's when I get older? Or like, even with my tremors, like I'm just like, is this an early sign that I'm gonna like end up with Parkinson's? And the thing that is, is I asked my doctor that and I was just like, you know, the fact that I have these tremors, is this, you know, could this be a sign? And she didn't tell me no. Hi, Ronnie. Kim, did I say hi to you? We're gonna be grumpy together, exactly. Oh, everybody has those days. Take a monthly injection, Myron's cut them down quite a bit. Oh, awesome. I'm so glad. Um, but yeah, and so she didn't she didn't say no. She didn't say that, you know, no, that's not gonna potentially cause that like later in life. She basically just said, well, let's not worry about it now. And then here I am thinking, or if you don't want me to worry about it, tell me no, it's not gonna happen. But like here you are telling me, like, oh, well, let's just not think about it. It's like that's not helpful. <laughs> Went and got Bob and he's here doing my laundry as a birth. Oh, I'm so glad, Ev. Oh. Oh, it psh, could be anxiety. I always, <laughs> honestly, who doesn't have anxiety these days? I mean, I, there's, there's different ways that I manage stuff, but it was funny. I had to go to the, the dentist briefly for a checkup and they're like, oh, has, so has there been any, you know, new medicine or new developments? And I'm like, well, I just sit down and take a seat. Let me fill you in on what's been going on the last year. <laughs> 
Ellie from Ellie and Jared on YouTube. That's exactly what she thought was happening. She thought she was having a stroke. Turned out it was from her migraines. Yeah, exactly. Oh, nice. Oh, and magic bullet. Okay, okay. Liquid diet at the moment. Oh my goodness. How's that? How's that feeling? I don't know. Like, I figure I'm 36, you know, and, and I know a lot of the stuff, it's good that we found out that, you know, I've got whatever I've got going on now, but it kind of sucks. Like, I'm pretty young still. I'm like, I shouldn't be on... Oh, well, anyway, I digress. It is what it is. And I'll just, you know, cross those bridges when I come to it. I did. Yeah. You can always do moderate art or modern art. Yeah, there you go, Deborah. Because I thought about that, too. I was just like, gosh, I'm an artist like this. I really don't want this to affect it. Um, but I was like in between refills for my um, medicine that helps with the tremors. And so I didn't have it for like a day and a half. Like I was only able to take like a, like a smaller portion of it the night before. So I could tell a difference too. And like when I went to the dentist, they took my vitals while I was there. Cause you know, why does a dentist take vitals? I mean, they're, it's, it's teeth. You, they don't need to know the heart rate of your teeth. Anyway, they noticed that my uh, heart rate was up a little bit higher than normal. And part of it was because I was in between refills and I was like, oh, great. So it's the same part of the brain. If you have tremors, like someone in your family has had Parkinson's. So nobody in my family has Parkinson's. Um, I do have a close family relation that has MS, but we've also talked about that with the doctor and they've ruled that out. So that's nice. Let's see. What's even scary for Ellie and Jared? They're pregnant, their fourth child's first girl. Aw. Oh, nice, Ronnie. That's so nice. I love that. All right, so we are still just using cobalt turkeys. Okay, so Steve and I, we were talking the other day and we were talking about birthdays and pinatas and stuff. And uh, we got on the topic of pinatas for adults, pinatas for adults. So I'm not talking like, you know, AirPods and electronics, like really expensive things in a pinata, but things along the lines of, you know, Keurig pods, dishwasher pods, little, little things for adults. So, <laughs> Shannon, <laughs> it must have duplicated and sent itself to me too. Um, but if there was an adult pinata, okay, what kinds of things would you want to put in said pinata? So like, like I said, the dishwasher pods, the cure. Well, yes. Okay. Candy too. But I'm thinking like non-traditional items, things that adults would like really get. Cause obviously I'm limited to how much candy. Most of the time I'd probably give most of the candy to the kids anyway. Oh, interesting. Chapstick. Okay. Not cash. That one's too obvious. Or maybe you could put like, I guess silver dollars. They might be too heavy. <laughs> Yep. Oh, interesting, Amira. <laughs> little, little tiny liquor bottles. There you go. Yeah, they got lots of them, the little alcohol bottles. Yeah, Keurig pods. Oh, I, I suppose they could. Packets of flower seeds. Okay, I like that. Like, what do, you could get like those uh, travel things of, of tissues. Oh, phone pops, pens for handbags. Okay. Okay. See, I was just thinking about that. Cause like I said, we were talking about, you know, pinatas for the kids. Uh, and then I was just like, I wonder where the pinata for adults could, cause I would be on board with that. I feel like, like if I end up, I don't know, it's been a long time since I've had like a birthday party party where I, you know, we invite friends over, but I would kind of love to have an adult pinata. At first I was like, Oh, color pencils. But then I realized I don't want my color pencils getting hit with hit with a stick and then smashed to the ground. <laughs> the one shot bottles, there you go. Sticky note tabs for coloring. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Oh, nice Deborah. I've been seeing a lot of, oh, lottery tickets. Those little dollar scratches, that would be fun. Right, Sarah? Watercolor paint tubes. But would there be a chance that they could explode? Ooh, markers, yes. Oh my gosh, can you imagine like chucking a couple Copics? You know, cause you just wanna get singles of it. That could be fun. Yeah, like really inexpensive little scratch off tickets. Like that would be hilarious. Like there has to be, somebody has to have done that somewhere, right? But like, I'm trying to think what else, what else? <laughs> little tiny bottles of water. <laughs> 
That would be so fun. I mean, could how how hilarious would it be? Be doing a pinata in your backyard and have all the adults die for the stuff. Like legitimately, like all adult things. All right, light aqua. I mean, just because we're adults doesn't mean we can't have fun things anymore. It was cracking me up. Like that would be so much fun. Ooh, what about a little like uh, sewing kit? Like the ones that are like this big that come with like thread and emergency needles like that would be, <laughs> of course, I don't know. Needles in a pinata, probably. I mean, if they're encased and safe. Oh, mini bath smellies. Little tea. Oh, I'll throw in some dogs. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, speaking of dogs. Uh, so my neighbors down the street, they have this puppy and I don't know if they have a whole litter of puppies. I don't think so, but I know they have the two adult dogs and this puppy. And it's just like some people just honestly should not own pets. Anyway, um, I've seen the dog out a few times. On occasion, I've seen it with their owner, so I knew that it was their house. Uh, but I was I was parked nearby because I was doing something, and I saw the puppy just sitting out on the side of their house, like right next to the road. I'm like, good God, this dog's gonna get like hit by a car. And I went and knocked on their door, and there was no one home or anything, because I'm that kind of person to be like, hey, random stranger, come fix your dog, you know? <laughs> And so um, no one was home and I'm like, okay, well, I can't really take him home with me because I was on my way to go do work stuff. And so I stood there for a while and found where he got out under their fence. And so I was able to coax him to go back under the fence. And meanwhile, their other dogs, like if I had been on the fence, they would have like shredded me. Like they were vicious sounding dogs. I was like, good Lord. I mean, maybe it's because they thought I had their baby or something. But anyway, I was able to coax, I'm using Aquamarine now. Uh, I was able to coax the puppy back to where it needed to go and it was just happily prancing around. Like I know it belongs at that house, so clearly it knows those dogs. Um, and then I was able to find a scrap piece of wood that was rather heavy that the puppy wouldn't have been able to move and I propped it up against there. Um, at some point, I'm gonna go down there and let the neighbor know, I'm like, hey, by the way, your dog got out, like again. But I was just like, oh my gosh. My new fun things are coloring media. I'm a cereal buyer. <laughs> oh, bottle. <gasps> Oh, Tina, yes, wool or yarn. I get packs from the dentist with floss and Tylenol. Oh, nice. Oh no, Brooke. Oh, a mini first aid kit. Okay, okay, I love it. Nail cutters, okay. Pencil sharpeners, a thumb driver too. Oh my gosh, see, that's hilarious. Ooh, erasers, packs of erasers. That would be fun. I suppose if you wanted to like go on the fancy end, you could fit like gift cards in there, but I mean, that's pretty fancy. Uh, okay, the whole point was inexpensive things. Ooh, packs of instant oatmeal. <laughs> oh, cute, yes, yeah, spa items. It's possible, Kim, it's very, oh, tiny notebooks. Oh, Leslie, I love that, water bottles, yes. Sometimes you get those little packages of lotion or shampoo. Oh my gosh, these are such good ideas. See, an adult pinata sounds so fun. Okay, this is really going to brighten up. In fact, I wanna zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see it more as a whole. That is true. Yes, you could tailor it to who was gonna be at the party. I mean, my birthday's obviously not for like, what, another six months? I don't know, it's a ways away. Um, but it would be fun, like get a pinata. I guess the only other thing is that adults are much stronger than kids, so it's like, would everybody even get a chance to break open the pinata? I still feel like it'd be fun. Hi, Tanya! Small Kleenex tissues, yeah. Multi-pack of kneaded eraser and colors. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, travel hand lotions. I'll tell you though, if that puppy keeps getting out, I'm halfway tempted to just keep the puppy. It's super cute. It's definitely like a, a pit mix, but it's brindle. Oh, and it's so cute. And it was so friendly. Like it was just sitting there and you know, I got it to follow me back around to the other side of the yard so we could go back under and it's just hopping around with his little ears flopping. I'm like, oh, I know, right? Only one whack. <laughs> we would need to make it like a double layered pinata, like a pinata inside a pinata. I mean, because most of them are made with cardboard nowadays, but I think old school, like when we've made a pinata before, it's like paper mache around a balloon. Go through the travel aisle at Wally World. Oh, there you go. Oh, I just knocked my blender. Oh, but it got caught on my skirt because I'm wearing a skirt today. Wow, that looks really blue. That looks incredibly blue for you guys. I swear that's more green. Uh, that's one of the reasons I was a little late this morning. I was messing with the, uh, you can do pass the parcel. Oh, that's so good. But yeah, I swear this is more, imagine this is more green. I will take a picture of it. But yeah, I was fiddling with my, um, 
Oh, white balance settings before this. That is true. Honestly, it's been a long time since I've tried to break a pinata. Hi, Minty Green. Welcome. All right, we're going to use number 907, which is the peacock green. It's been a while. I mean, I, you know, we've been at parties where the kids have broken them, but, you know, not, not adults. Usually the adults step in when the kids can't break it for whatever reason. Funny idea, load the pinata with soap and deodorant. Everyone will start wondering if it is them. <laughs> there you go. Although the deodorant's not a bad idea. You could get, uh, oh, you know what's also expensive? Like dried cherries. So you could do like small individual packs of like the really nice like dried fruit. I don't know if they thank you if I put in like fruitcake or something in there. <laughs> well, and I sometimes wonder like if pinatas aren't a thing that they do everywhere. Like not just in the U.S. I know it's more common um, in the U.S. Obviously it derives from... Uh, does it like, I know it's like traditionally kind of like a, a, um, like a Hispanic celebration, but is that, is that something that they even do in Mexico or would it be a New Mexico thing? Like, I don't know if we've just translated it into like an Americanized version. Like where, where does the origin of the pinata come from? That's what I'm curious, right? Fruitcake. I know, right, Tina? Okay, I would like to get some of the true green. True green, there we go. I want this a little bit more green and a little less blue. I swear it looks more green on my side. And we're gonna press a little bit harder, but I wanted something kind of uh, vibrant for her cloak. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. Started in Spain, okay, okay. Sure, Wikipedia probably has it. I should look that up. What's the origin of the pinata? Like, what did they originally put in a pinata? Was it always candy? Was it always treats? Inquiring minds would like to know. I mean, then by inquiring minds, I mean me. I have the inquiring mind. <laughs> oh, that could be cute. Okay. Well, that is a nice, a vibrant cloak, isn't it? Um, uh, let's do a little bit of Ask Alexa. I don't have an Alexa. All right, Chestnut. Alexa, what are the origins of the pinata? Okay, now somebody can tell me what their Alexa says. Candy and toys, there you go. Ah, uh, thanks, Kim. All right, so Chestnut is what we're using here. All right, so um, I'm thinking we're gonna do a Rooms of Wonder page after this. So what, what's today? Wednesday for Friday. I want to do a Rooms of Wonder page. Um, what page would everybody like, like to see done? Wait, it really originated according to your Alexia. Wait, Alexa or Alexia? Oh, it did it really? Why are you saying that's funny? It originated in China? Southeast Asia. Brought to Italy by Marco Polo. Oh my gosh! So wait a minute, everybody has their Alexa's on. You know, it's morning time. Kids aren't asleep. We could do. Great power comes great responsibility. Is everybody ready for this? Quick, turn off your Alexa. Alexa, play Baby Shark. <laughs> I'm so evil. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Everybody rushing to turn off their Alexas. <laughs> See, Tanya's, Tanya's learned. I think she turns off her Alexa whenever I'm streaming. <laughs> That's crazy though. I didn't know it originated in China. <laughs> Marcy, she didn't hear you. Ah, oh, dang. Julie has, Julie has escaped it. That's hilarious. <laughs> Michelle. We could, <laughs> Sarah, I'm so stressed thinking about how many unfinished pages you have. We could, ooh, we could do the shower page. I haven't finished a single page in Rooms of Wonder yet. Um, we started a lot of them, but we could, we could work on the shower page. <laughs> John, yeah, that's called self-preservation. Do, 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 oh, sorry, Debra. Traditionally made of clay pot filled with fruit, candy, or small toys, suspended pinatas are a central component to any Mexican celebration, birthday celebration. That's awesome. 
Mm. I see now why they switched to paper though. Can you imagine <laughs> like just shards of, of clay going everywhere? Um, I want to use some white on this cloak. I want to smooth things out a little bit. See, and the funny thing is though, if anybody watches this back and they have an Alexa, they're going to be in on it too. It's like, ooh, I'm affecting Alexas in the future. Like I, I could add milk to everybody's grocery list. <laughs> ooh, yeah, the indoor outdoor bedroom. Working on disc binding my cup. Wait, what's disc binding? I feel like I'm missing something on that. Marco Polo brought it to Europe. Ah, okay. Oh, that's cute. All right. So Alexa's in the future. Add milk to the grocery. <laughs> no, I won't finish that. <laughs> that's good stuff right there. All right, come on. It's been a while since I activated everyone's Alexas. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, Minty. Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. But yeah, I would totally be on board with a pinata like that. Okay, I like that. Still bright, but it kind of like toned it down just slightly. Oh, nice, Debro. Yeah, no. today I woke up and chose evil. <laughs> okay, let's do the hood and then we will move on from the cloak because the hood's gonna be something a little bit different too and we need to make it darker on the inside. So we're gonna do the hood, then we'll move on to the shirt and then lastly, we will do the leaves. Move mine to the living room, so no activating it for me. Oh man, I'm just trying to share the joy of Baby Shark with you, Ev. I'm just, I'm just saying. Originally, the pinatas were clay pots covered with paper mache and ribbons and seven spikes of symbols of seven simpuo cardinals. Okay. Also, whenever someone's like, am I the only one that when you see paper mache written down that I think of that Seinfeld episode with that girlfriend that called it papier mache? That's all I think. Stream is buffering. Any tips? Um, it could be because I have it on ultra low latency. Check your playback. If you look at the little gear underneath, you should have the quality uh, playback. You could choose a lower quality or try refreshing, but that's good to know. We haven't had, um... oh, I can't hear her see, oh. Yeah, have her, have her refresh and then change her playback settings. Oh, I want her, right? Okay, so let's see, cobalt turquoise. So the darkest color goes on the darkest shadows. This cobalt turquoise is like butter. I love it so much. Smooth like butter, like a criminal that's copyright. I'm gonna stop right now because it's BTS. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Playback settings. All right. So I'm gonna go up along the edge. go oh it's so pretty i love this color oh good all right well then let's think of let's think of what is the most ridiculous item that you could put in a pinata oh my gosh what if there was a way obviously we wouldn't want the kittens to get hurt because, you know, they're in a pinata and it's getting smacked and then they fall to the ground. But if there was a way to do it, how fun would a kitten pinata be? I would be on board with a kitten pinata. <laughs> I try not to go over it too much, but we're gonna take this here. We're gonna go up along this side as well. There we go. <laughs> That's your Siri. Siri's not quite the same as Alexa though. Honestly, I don't have any of those turned on for mine because I don't know, I always feel weird. I don't want it listening for certain words and I went out of lines. Oh well, we'll fix that here in a second. I don't know, I'm one of those weird people that just straight up just does not test, trust my phone. There you go, you can take pictures of getting a pinata full of antidepressants. Oh, there you go, Julie. <laughs> 
Oh, your paring knife. Hi, Durbin. All right. Let me erase that little part right there. There we go. Just a little bit. We could always add a little bit of this blue to her eyes to kind of balance it out. Okay, let's use the aquamarine. Another pinata. A pinata and a pinata and a pinata. You know, that actually might not be a bad idea considering adults are stronger than kids and we would want the pinata to last longer. We could just start with this ginorma. Oh, you could do a pole string. There you go. A St. Bonjour. <laughs> Fanny, let her see it go, Leslie. <laughs> Plastic dagger. Yeah, uh, my sister got my son one of those like retractable, retract, retractable, retractable ones from um, Cracker Barrel. You know, they've got toys that are over there. But uh, yeah, what if you started out with a, like a ginormous pinata, like the size of a car? And then like you had to smack that pinata, but because it's the size of a car, there's multiple pinatas inside the car size pinata. So then you've got to try and figure out which one's the real pinata. And then all of those are a pinata inside a pinata inside a pinata. So it's just literally, dude, we don't even need this as a birthday part. Oh, tiny bouncy balls everywhere. You don't even need a <laughs> nesting doll pinata. You don't even need it to be a birthday party. Like what if it's just straight up Let's get out all of our pent up aggression party. And it's just like pinata after pinata after pinata. Like what it like, it's like one of those places, um, we've got one in the next town over where you can go there and you can just smash things. Like they've got like old toilets and they've got like all kinds of things. You can, you just go in there, take a sledgehammer and you just smash stuff. Like, I feel like, I feel like there is some sort of therapy in that. Pinata for cats, there you go. Glitter? I don't want to hate my guest, Tina. <laughs> Can you imagine? Just hit it and it explodes with glitter. Aw, uh, candies from your childhood. I like that. A modified wrapper game with money and layers. Yes, filled with glitter. No glitter! <laughs> I'm trying to think. Uh, they're definitely not candies that uh, that they that I really see anymore. They might have them. But do you remember those... Um, Oh, I guess I need to be careful how I phrase it because YouTube might, like, might not like it either. But do you remember those, it was gum and the gum had powder around it and it was wrapped in a paper and it was eerily uh, similar to an item that is known to give you lung cancer. <laughs> I don't say it that way because I think if I say the actual word, I don't know, because you're supposed to do like not talk about like, I don't know. YouTube is weird. Anyway, uh, but you would blow on it and the white powder would poof out. Razzles. So I didn't need razzles, but you wanna know why I know about razzles? Because of 13 going on 30 with Jennifer Garner and, um, oh, what's his name? The guy that played Hulk. Yes, okay, yeah, I used to, uh, they had those in a little container at the local ice cream store and I would get those all the time. I thought that was so cool. <laughs> right, Ev? Yeah, exactly. Candies for various decades and like, can you really? Oh, they're called candy sticks now. Okay. Wait, that was a thing, Michelle? Bottle caps. Okay, I'm trying to think of like what else, what else they had when I was a kid that maybe they don't have now. I'm using aqua or light aqua now. Right? That is true. Candy sticks with powder. That's, that's very true, Shannon. <laughs> Do you also have this ice cream where the stick is made of bubble gum shaped like, I don't think, well, yeah, that's what it is, but it wasn't an ice cream. Like that's what it was. Still bottle caps. Yeah. Big league gum. Like feminine stuff though. Is that really a flag worthy thing that, that YouTube doesn't want to talk about? Cause they, they do like any kind of like, like drugs or violence is what they don't want you. So would they consider that under it? I don't know. It's weird, the specifics. Okay, light aqua. I mean, it is an adult coloring channel. <laughs> Wait, are baby Ruth bars not around anymore? Root beer is too. Mm. Tart and tinies. They were small enough that I could actually eat them without getting caught in school. <laughs> Big league gum. Oh, Henry bars, liquid in wax bottles. See, that's what always kind of turned me off to it was like the wax. I was like, I don't know about this. All right, we're gonna use aquamarine. There we go. 
Yeah, we'll totally work on um, one of our work in progresses from the Rooms of Wonder Week. Honestly, like I posted that picture, that reel of the page that I'm working on in Rooms of Wonder, but that was legitimately like the first time I had to actually sit down and really just kind of choose a page on my own and just work on it on my own. Because this past week has just been chaotically busy. I feel like I'm still catching up from it. Oh, dots on the paper strip. Oh, I've seen those at Hobby Lobby. <laughs> right, Shannon? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, we survived. We're all good. Okay, so now I'm going to use my blender over the top of that. We'll work on the inside here in just a minute. Gosh, I love how much this brightens it up. I would wear this cloak. I would rock this cloak. Barley sugar candy lollipops. Oh, that sounds good. Baby Ruth flavor. Oh, interesting. Kool-Aid candy. That's oh, bits of honey. I think they still have bits of honey. Don't they? I don't know. It's been a while since I've gone like candy hunting. But yeah, I think it's established. Next time I have like a grown up level party, we're totally having a pinata. I'm going to turn her upside down real quick. I swear it looks so much more blue for you guys. There is like actual like teal with this. It's okay. We're going to add a little bit of our green anyway. Okay. Would make rock candy. Ooh, ooh, me, me, me. I made rock candy. I totally made rock candy. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the light green. Turn it a little bit more. <laughs> there you go, Leslie. Right? Yeah, it's very, these are honestly, Prismacolor has a lot of really pretty colors. Hey, so I had a thought the other day and I was realizing how difficult it was to find out more about it. Um, because like they don't have an active website or anything because I was thinking about my let's talk episodes and I haven't done a solid one in a while. I mean, I did the Maggie and Chirios video, but I've had a pencil set on my list for a while that I wanted to learn more about the history of it, the company behind it and everything. And that was the, um, Shapiro Farben. Now for the life of me, I did some searching. I could not find, we're going to use chestnut now. I could not find the Shapiro Farben website. The one that Shapiro Farben had listed on their Facebook, you try and click the website and the website's not there anymore. Like they just don't keep it up. Um, I found an Instagram for them. I know I haven't tried messaging them yet, um, but they just don't seem super active. And what it honestly seems like is that Shapiro Farben comes from like one woman, but like all of a sudden they were everywhere. And like, I'm wondering like, how did these pencils get everywhere? Like. How on earth did this become a thing? Yeah, I have them too. Oh, Gobstoppers. Love Gobstoppers. Big red gum. Puts a stick of rock candy one of their mixed drinks. Oh, that's fun. But like, I don't know. Does anybody know anything like in depth about, about the Shapiro Farben? Like, how did they suddenly like end up on the scene? I don't know. I'm going to try and message them. I found an art gear guide um, review of them. And like, they said that even they didn't really get much of a response. I don't know, it seems like this big mystery company. Does anybody know anything extra about them? Like where they came from or when they came on the scene? Like, I don't know. I mean, it's it's a name that everybody knows. I have the pencils myself, I like them. You can get them on Amazon. But it's like, who manufactures them? Where does it come from? Like I said, I'm gonna try and message on the Instagram account that I found and the Facebook and see if anything comes from it. But I don't know, the whole thing is just kind of oddly sketchy.
No, they're not. Yeah, they're not a Faber-Castell product. Like, it's all on its own. And I'm just like, huh. Weird. Okay, I am loving this color. Let's do the inside, and then we'll move to her shirt. Cinnamon flavor job right. I don't like any of the fake cinnamon flavors. I don't know. It's too much for me. Um, Let's go ahead and do... We're going to start with black, actually, and then we'll layer, like, the aqua and stuff on no, I haven't, Shannon. Here's the thing is I was actually looking at this yesterday and I might, I don't know, I don't want to pester Sarah because she's got a lot going on, but I see that people are starting to get them. And I have the receipt that has the email that says, this is your order number. And I think I made an account on their color, like the Sarah Renee Clark thing later, because when I log into my account on their website, it doesn't have any past orders listed, even though I use the same email to place the order. So the only emails that I've gotten are the email that says, um, thanks for your order, you know, we'll be processing it soon kind of thing. But that's all I have. I haven't heard anything. You can tell me why. Oh, please do. Please do. Yeah, because I have been curious. Like, like I said, I'm hesitant to message her because I'm sure she's getting loads of messages from people. Like, I don't want to... If it's just a matter of me needing to be patient and, you know, it'll be here when it's here. But yes, please, please tell me why. Because I have been curious. I'm anxious to get it. I saw that Barbara put her review up for the color cube. She does know all. She is, she is all knowing. Like when it comes to things, I should have just asked you a bit like, Shannon, why haven't I gotten my order yet? <laughs> because I placed my order back in September and I know that like US, they're supposed to be getting it like in October. Yes, please do tell, because I have been a little bit confused. All right, so that's black. We're gonna go on top with the cobalt turquoise. I'm gonna get a nice chart. Yours is probably coming from Georgia, as mine is probably, and those have been held up at customs for inspection. Oh, have you gotten email updates though? Because like I have gotten zero email updates since my placed my initial order. They've arrived in Nevada and those have been shipped. That would explain, what was it? Someone here said they were in Arizona and they were getting theirs. That would definitely explain that. Okay, so like I said, we're using the cobalt turquoise right now. But like, I just haven't gotten any updates. Oh, you got your color cube. Yeah, Marcy, that was you in Arizona, right? I feel like I should have gotten like some sort of shipping confirmation update or something. How did you find out they were held up? Still processing on website? Okay. I mean, cause I did a search in my email for color cube, but maybe it didn't show up in the search if it was in the junk email. But yeah, I don't know. I just thought it was weird that after I made the account on it with the same email that I ordered, that it wasn't like listed in my orders, but maybe it's because I made the Oh, Washington. Oh, okay. But that would make sense, though, if you were part of the group that got yours from Nevada. I mean, obviously, if it's held, held up in customs, you know, it's not, it's not up to her or anything. But I think my concern was, since I haven't gotten any updates, I was like, maybe somehow, like, my order... I mean, it went through. I have the order number. I have the receipt. But, like, my concern was, like, what if it never actually got processed for some reason? Like there was some sort of mishap and then I'd have to wait again for them to come out the second round or something. I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to pester. So I'm kind of just waiting and seeing. Well, I think it's because they're going to different places. So they're coming in through different areas. Look at that. See, Ev, I emptied my sharpener. I did it. <laughs> All right, aquamarine. Definitely gonna be using the blender and I think we'll use um, more black as well once we get this all kind of smoothed out. Okay, and then I haven't gotten any order updates but I did get an email saying the Georgia ones were held up at customs, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay, all right, well then I will have to search uh, after after stream and take a look at my junk folder in case it went there. Cause yeah, I have been curious. Like I'm, I'll be patient, it's fine. I just wanna make sure that it actually, you know, went through. <laughs> That's all. I just don't want to have to wait like three more months for it. But again, I mean, I know if it's like shipping stuff, like it has nothing to do with her at all. And I don't want to cause any distress or fret or anything. So I'll be patient. As long as I know it's coming, we're all good. I can wait. All right. So using the blender, trying not to get any of this 
kind of teal on her hair. Hi, Rika. When you pass through Melbourne Customs and then waited because of the delayed planes. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, wait, what did Marcy say? So, Deborah, there's amazing. It tells you the status of your order. Wait, what tells you the status of your order? Oh, nice, Marcy. Yeah, exactly, Dominic, exactly. Thanks, Michelle. So, like I said, I have no problem being patient and waiting. It'll get here when it gets here. I just wanted to make sure that it had actually, like, the order had actually gone through. And so, when, because I hadn't gotten any, like, shipping updates or anything, I was kind of like, oh, I hope it went through. You know, because I have the receipt. And all of that. But, you know, glitches can happen. Okay. And a bit more black. It's crazy. Who even am I? Like, I've been using, like, black so much more lately. I was thinking about that, Ev, and I haven't actually checked it. I need to go back further. I guess I didn't think about checking it because since I had the receipt there. But, yeah, I should go through and, and see if it popped up on there. Because that would definitely say whether or not it had gone through. Your order says processing. Should be getting email updates. Well, see, now I'm curious. Hang on. I'll pull up my email for my junk folder and just double check. You guys, y'all got me, got me curious, got me thinking. Hang on. I'll pull up my email here. You guys, you guys can check it with me. It's very exciting. <laughs> this is the uh, quality content that you're here for where I check my email and hang out with all of you while I do it. All right, let's see. Well, see, that's the thing, because it should have shipped by now, especially if I ordered in, in September. All right, am I in the right email? Yes. Okay, so let's check this spam. Oh, it is here. It came in on November 5th. Color Cube shipping updates. Look at you. Let's see. Hang on. We're going to make this not spam, and we're going to put this back in. Let's see. We're going to move this. Okay, we're going to mark it as important and we're going to move it to, to the inbox. Can I do that? No, hang on. I'm having a moment. Yeah, this is me. I'm, I'm a modern gal who knows how to use my email. Okay, what did it say? Where did it go? November 5th. Okay, Color Cube shipping update. So I'm going to give you another update on the Color Cube and planner shipping progress. Landis updates. As of today, we've sent out... Oh, well, that's not my order specific. Let's see. That's the planner. Mm, okay, I might have to. That was just a general email. But if I'm getting that, if I'm getting a general email from her, then that probably means... Let's see. Did I get any other from her? Mm, I'm not seeing any other ones. Okay, well, there's that. If I got that email, then that probably means you at least got it. Oh, it'll tell you about Georgia? Hang on. Where did it go? There it is. We're gonna put a little, we're gonna star that email. Uh, let's see. Coloring planner. Let's see, stock was due to arrive at Georgia Warehouse in late October. However, it's been held up in customs for inspection. We've been following up the shipping company daily. We'll provide updates when it clears. We've tried to distribute orders to the closest physical location, but have also started prioritizing some of the earliest pre-orders to be processed from the stock at Nevada while we wait for the Georgia stock to arrive. Because yeah, mine was placed before September 24th. So that's gotta be what it is. Okay. Well, I'll just be patient then. Oh, slash help gives updates. Okay, cool. <laughs> you guys, you guys all get to sit with me when I check my email. It's cool. All right. Well, then I probably will get shipping updates once it's actually in the U.S. Because that's the same way, like, when I order something on Book Depository, like, I don't get any, like, shipping updates until it's actually, you know, en route in the U.S. So I just got to be patient. That's all. We can sit together. All right. Sweet. Be our, be our sit tight group. <laughs> 
it's gonna be fun though we'll do um we'll do some some themes some themed color alongs using the color cube and um the color palettes it should be good okay just using the white just a little bit white for me just does that extra kind of smooth out that it needs and then let's go ahead and grab the aquamarine just a little bit along the edge i don't want that to be just completely white Aquamarine. There we go. Okay, I'm pleased with that. Yeah, that's real nice. Uh, oh, we need to add a little bit of the green to it as well. This is the light green. I thought I was using true green for that. Oh, look, we're using light green now. There we go. Ah, thanks. All right, so now we're gonna shift on down to her dress here. And I'm thinking something in like a plum would be really pretty. So let's do, let's do, let's see. I like black raspberry and black cherry. Let's see. Black raspberry and black cherry They're over here. Black cherry is number 1078. We'll grab black raspberry too. Okay, and then let's grab dark purple let's see dark purple is number 931 it's dark purple a kitten pinata right ah ev yours looks good using my watercolor pencils to color a snail drawing for the november prompts oh i love that okay uh let's see dark purple and then let's do I don't know that I want to do lilac. That's not quite what I'm looking for. Maybe lavender. Let's get lavender. Okay. And let's grab just a little bit of Dolly Purple. I love Dolly Purple. I think it is such a pretty color. Okay. So we're going to start with, let's start with the black cherry, I think. And that's going to be number 1078. We're going to snag a pencil extender. <laughs> You're good, Ronnie. You are good. Okay. That's all right. From there to there, you just missed me checking my email. So you're fine. <laughs> all right. So black cherry is what we're going to start with. We have a lot of the shadows here already. We'll do a different color for her decorative uh, band across the top of her dress. All right, so uh, confession time. I have not taken down all my Halloween decorations yet. I have not had time. Anybody else? <laughs> Ooh, I just got an email. Diamond Art Club is doing an advent calendar. Celebrating 12. See, I like the advent calendars that have 24, though. Like, how much is that going to be? Oh, they have a 25% off. That's interesting. Hang on. I want to see how much it is. Have you guys seen that yet? I mean, the email just came through, but have you seen the diamond painting advent calendar? Oh, oh, okay. Yep, that's a nice thought. It's like 120 bucks. It's, it's not bad. All right, there we go, fix that. I would be curious though to see if anybody else gets it. I'll have to see if there's any like, uh, I wonder if uh, Mrs. Coffee will get it. She does a lot of diamond painting stuff. Okay, well that doesn't count, Michelle, if you haven't put anything up. Also, this was the cat. This wasn't me. <laughs> I don't count that as a wound for me. That was the cat. I picked her up and she was like, no, scratch. I'm like, oh, okay then, thanks. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna sharpen this. Oh, does she really? Oh, that's cool. Sounds good, Amira. Thanks so much for being here. Let's put this on a three. Wait, who's Heather Valentin? I feel like I don't know her. 
Fragile world. Get wait, is it an advent calendar or just a normal calendar? There we go. I'd be curious to see what they do for the advent calendar, because is it like just smaller, smaller drills? Like just like little small like five by five size diamond paintings. I mean if it's daily. Or maybe it makes one big diamond painting. Now I'm really curious. Normal one, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Very cool. I have the Johanna calendars, and I think when I initially got the first one, I did try and like color them, but I don't know. Now I just kind of like looking at the black and white images. Okay, so we're still just using black cherry. Turn it this way just a little bit. I tried not to make her too voluptuous because I didn't want that to be the focus of the image. <laughs> okay. Did you guys see, I don't know, in your opinion, what makes a, what, what, at what point do you consider a post having gone viral? Like viral for sure would be like when the entire world uh, sees something and everybody you talk to like knows about it. But if a post gets upwards of 3 million views, would you consider that viral? Oh, has she? Okay, I'll have to take a look at her. Because I was looking at um, Black and Eerie's Instagram and I was looking at just like Rooms of Wonder uh, posts in general, just the hashtag Rooms of Wonder. I did not realize that her painting of the books from the wizard's room, like it went nuts. It has like 3.3 million views. I was like, holy heck, that's amazing. Okay, we're gonna use the dark purple. Like, I don't think I've ever seen a coloring post get that many views before. I mean, she's super talented, so it's, it's totally like justified, but I was just super surprised. Which is kind of cool because, you know, it might introduce some people to, you know, adult coloring if they didn't even know that this world consider that viral. Yeah. Yeah, it's only 12 days. I would like it better if it was 24. Viral is a huge spike in hits, not an overall count. Ah, okay. Okay. Sounds good, Donnie. Yeah. So not so overall. I think the highest one I have for reels, I want to say is 20? 20? 8,000? I might be, I might be, that's for views though, not, not for like actual like post interactions or anything. Funny thing is though, it's like it's always the ones that I put the least amount of work into. Like I have one where like I just colored the cupcake and that has like a ridiculous, I'm like all right well clearly I don't need to be <laughs> spending that much time thinking about it. I don't know, like there's some people, you know, that are on there that are just comedically hilarious and I don't think I have quite that timing. That and I'd have to put myself like actually on video and I'm good. You know what's a good reel though, or a good uh, post when people quote it? Uh, Juggling the Jakin, she's hilarious. And it's the one that I always quote to quote to Steve, like it was like her, her impressions of, uh, you know, that time of the month. And she just walks out and it's like, you know, morning. She's like, why is it so sunny outside? And I'm always quoting that. It's hilarious. Oh, it says, okay, one. Hi, Steve. Okay, it has two never before released diamond painting hits, nine by nine and nine by 12. Oh, interesting. Two new drill pens, forever stainless steel, single placer, never before seen diamond painting card. New diamond painting ornament kit, new diamond painting kit, six pack, release paper, washi tape, new cover miters, Aurora, Borealis, Aurora Borealis rhinestones. Oh my goodness. Oh, that actually has a lot in there. That'd be kind of cool. Might have to double think that one. I don't know. I keep kicking myself because like I haven't finished the diamond paintings. I have finished a diamond painting. A diamond painting. I need to just sit down and get them done. Okay, dark purple. Oh, I didn't do this part of the sleeve either. Right, you know, we'll just keep going and I'll do that other part in a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and add the lavender for our lightest color. Yeah, only 120. Actually, honestly, for that amount of diamond painting stuff from Diamond Art Club, 
120 is actually not a bad price. So you have an average of like 10 daily views, but then you have a huge spike of 10,000 per day. That would be viral. Oh, so it's more like on a case by case biz like basis. Bye, Dominique. Oh, Aaron, Aaron's leaving. Oh, sorry. I have to go. The problem is Friday. Nice spending time. Oh, thanks, Aaron. Have a great rest of your day. So you would you would base it more on the individual versus what a standard definition of going viral is. We're using lavender now. The uh, it was funny the diamond painting one that I did where it was like you know I was going really fast or whatever and then I slowed it down and and you know showed what diamond painting is like like in real time. And uh, that one had like a weird spike of like 5,000 like views or whatever. And then it just stopped. And I was like, oh, okay. Well, that was an interesting 30 minutes. I couldn't even begin to tell you why views got picked up on that. Because traditionally diamond painting stuff does not do as well on, you know, as far as viewer retention and stuff. So most of the time when I post diamond painting stuff, it's because I'm enjoying it for myself. And like, I just want to post about it. And I was just like, okay, well, that's interesting. Yeah, viral is like an overnight jump versus over a long period of time. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. All right, let's do the black raspberry. I don't know, there was Melissa's too. Melissa, you had that one that got, how many views is it by now? Like it got up to a million views and it was just you doing the, uh, the water claim. But I found it interesting. Like it definitely has to do with the algorithm because you posted that same video on TikTok and it didn't do like nearly as much activity. And it's just so interesting. Like I wish, I wish I could understand like why, why things go the way they go. <laughs> All right, so we're just doing the black raspberry. You know, actually I'm gonna do a poll real quick for Friday, go ahead and vote. We're gonna do for Friday's, wait, Melissa, it has 6.1 million? What? That's crazy. For Friday, do we want to, well, I know you're Shannon, but yes. Oh my gosh. Do we want to, start a new rooms of wonder page or or continue a work in progress your options are new or whip okay that's crazy i also wonder what you have to do to like trigger uh instagram to want to pay you for reels too because i know it's like an invite only program i feel like that should have triggered for melissa having something that like literally has like gone viral for her like 6.1 that's that's crazy how do you tell how many views uh, a reel has on instagram um one of the ways you can look here i'll pull up my pull up my instagram hang on one second is you just go to the Reels page. Okay, open up, thank you. Here, I'm gonna go to my page here. Okay, so I have the professional dashboard on mine because mine is set to a business one, but if you go to the page where it has the, uh, the middle dot for the Reels, you can see, see these numbers down at the bottom? So like this one has 12.9 thousand. That was the uh, comparison of the two books. The one I posted yesterday, is at just under 5,000. And then for the business one, you can go in and have it listed by like the highest amount of views that you have on them. So like the Rooms of Wonder, Wizard's Room, that one has 17, so, or not 17, but 17,000. So I was gonna say, yeah, I was right, 28. So this one is my highest reel, the one where I did the robot, and that was 28.6. So that's not bad for me. But I can definitely tell like when the rate of watch time is is slower, whether or not for me, a particular reel was successful. And I partially wonder, because the one I posted yesterday isn't doing as good as the ones in the past have done. And I wonder if a little bit, because it's Rooms of Wonder and not everybody was as excited about Rooms of Wonder as the other ones. So I need to do a little, a little testing. Oh, didn't post the last two videos as reels. Yeah, you have to do, you have to post them as reels. Um, 
Well, I don't know. I thought when they did them as videos, they automatically posted as reels, but you'll know if it's a reel if it's on that page with the middle tab. Okay, um, let's go ahead and use our blender. Reels is definitely something that is taking some figuring out. Like, I don't think there's any one formula to what works. Um, so the person I got this mug from, it's Hammerly Ceramics, and he and I actually uh, chatted a bit. And um, like for him, his theory is because he went viral um, a few years ago for these mugs he was making. They looked like tree bark mugs. They were really cool. And that's how I initially found him. Um, but a lot of people have asked him about making content because since then, since then his posts and his reels and everything, they do really, really well. And he himself has said that there's really no rhyme or reason to it because sometimes it's just so random. It's so random. And he said the best thing you can do is just continue to post content that you enjoy. If you make content for the sake of the internet, like you're gonna get burnt out just because it is near impossible to A, figure out what it is the internet wants to see, and, and B, if you're only doing it for the sake of making content and you're not really enjoying it, you're just, you're gonna get burnt out so fast. So his best advice is, is just to, you know, continue doing what you're doing and make quality content. And you know, at some point someone might <laughs> get excited about it to share it. And it's, it's, he basically, he's just saying, you know, try not to stress about it. Just keep doing what you're doing that you love doing and you know, make it lucky. That's coming out so much pinker on, on the screen than it is actually, because it's actually a lot more purple, purpley. Ah, uh, yeah, we don't do politics, but yes, that was the same here as well. Okay. Mostly because, I mean, we're all well aware that the world is just... Exactly, Melissa, exactly. The world is kind of a hot mess right now, and um, this is a nice place to kind of escape said hot mess. <laughs> all right, so dark purple... me like I like peopling with you guys but like going out in public and peopling with actual people I'm like mm, I'm okay thanks though I've definitely become a extroverted introvert since the pandemic like I don't know <laughs> yeah zen only <laughs> hmm Okay, let's see. You know, I'm still thinking about that advent calendar. Really, I mean, considering the fact that like their Harry Potter ones are like 89, I suppose 120 really isn't bad for 12 days of, of adventing. Since I found Prismas to work, excellent pages, I'm enjoying it more. Oh, I'm so glad. All right, that's right, I put a poll up, let's see. Oh, 59% says work in progress. All right, that's cool. <laughs> you sit over there with your 6.1 million. I know you're so famous. Uh, Melissa, I'm curious, since you do have that one post that's gotten uh, such a big, such a big hit, have you noticed an uptick in followers or like, have you gotten any messages from anybody like, not sponsors, not sponsorships, but just like, I don't know. Have you noticed a difference in any of your correspondence since you had the post that did that? Because like, that's a lot, 6.1 million? Or is your reaction to most of your posts now, is it just kind of the same as it was before? Inquiring minds want to know, you know what I think we need? I think we need a little bit of lilac well let's see let's do this one here oh i didn't even think about that oh i like it sarah <laughs> right kim yeah i'd rather people this way too it went from 700 ish oh wait reason it's not showing up like actively on my phone okay it went i went from 700 to 2k followers but that's about it reactions are about the same on coloring stuff interesting 
<laughs> yeah, never apologize for eating. All right, so we're gonna do lilac. It's a little bit more purpley. But I want a little bit more of a transition from the darker colors to the lavender. And we're definitely gonna use that white on top of it all to kind of smooth it out. I mean, I suppose that makes sense because I don't always, like a lot of times I will follow, like if something has a lot of views, I will follow that person if after I've looked at their account and I think, oh, well, that's kind of cool. Or if something has happened and they have like a story that I want to follow, then I'll hit follow on it. But I definitely don't follow everyone that follows me. I think that would make my feed a little too, a little too chaotic. And I like to fill most of my feed with uh, cute doggos. <laughs> Oh no, Rinka. Ah, I got you, Brooke. <laughs> Hi, Nan, welcome. All right, let's go ahead and use our white and smooth this out and then we can fill in where we need to. I definitely need to take a picture afterwards because what you guys are seeing uh, on the computer is not doing this justice. I need to double check my settings again. I wonder if I just need to make it more blue. I don't know. All right, so we're gonna use this white and we're gonna kind of smooth this out. Definitely pressing pretty hard here. I'm telling you, I wanna get like a pressure plate or something underneath so I can tell you like the amount of pressure, like measure the actual pressure that I'm using. Oh no, yeah, that would do it. Smooth that out. Oh, Melissa's Instagram. Shannon, can you, uh, or I guess Melissa can too. Uh, feel free, Melissa, to link your Instagram so they can see it. All right, we are gonna use um, a little bit of black here. Okay, yeah, so we'll, Friday we'll do, we'll do work in progress. I'm gonna look through the ones that we've done so far, but I'm leaning towards the shower page for the work in progress. The forest shower. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna do a little bit of black there. Trying to get Bob to tell me what he wants for lunch is driving me batty. <laughs> you ever see that scene um, from The Notebook? And they like people put it with, you know, like when you're asking women what they want to eat, it's like, what do you want? It's not that easy. Uh, that's good stuff. I have so many sounds like saved for future reels that I need to, I need to film this stuff for it. Okay. So we're just adding in our darker color and then we're gonna go in with our other purples and kind of bring this all together. Yeah, yep, yeah, there it is. See, Melissa, what this means is that you just need to start a YouTube channel and you need to start live streaming your coloring, that's all. <laughs> no, all the way, right? Bye, Kim, thanks for being here. What are we doing on time anyway? We're good. We still got like 30 minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and go with our black cherry again. And we are gonna go over the black that we already added. Go. Trying to kind of smooth that out. Actually, I've been 
a while since I've seen that. I need to remember, because really, if you think about it, like, their relationship was great for a movie, but it almost seemed like a little not toxic. I don't know. I was watching this thing the other day that was talking about, like, healthy relationships in, in movies. And this one was like one of them where they're like, eh, I don't know, this relationship is a little questionable. Oh my gosh, I have so many layers of pencil on here. Like I can tell that it's reaching its limit for how much it's gonna, how much more it's gonna let me layer on here. Thank God for Prismacolors, man. <laughs> Beezy, Ella, okay. All right, no more, no more. <laughs> Sounds good, Yana. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah, it's actually supposed to start cooling off here. I am looking forward to the cooler weather because it got hot again and it's been like in the 80s for the last like week or so. And yeah, I am looking forward to it cooling off. Here we go. <laughs> Are you all right, Bonnie? <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can smooth that out just a little bit more. Kind of going on the side here so I can get a broader, broader side to the paper. But I can definitely tell that it has just about reached its limit for the amount of layers that I can put on there. Now this will be a purple sleeve too. I swear it does not look that pink in real life. Let's zoom out for just a second. Uh, she's coming along, that looks good. All right, let's do um, let's do green up here. So let's actually grab our dark green. Bob, no touchy! <laughs> Rose and Cal. Is that one, is that one also, it's been so, I feel like I need to watch the notebook again. Is that one the notebook also? Okay, so we're gonna start with dark green. Oh, Titanic. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. No, he was... He was awful. I got a ream of paper and it's horrible. It feels like sandpaper. Oh, no. Really? Which one did you get? Like, was it supposed to be thick? I mean, did it say anything about the tooth? I sketched for the pencil on this one. I actually did this on sketchbook paper, but it left a lot of texture. Next one I do, I think I'm gonna try and do on smoother paper. All right, then let's do a little bit of, let's go ahead and actually use the light aqua over the top of that. I kind of feel like I need to bring the colors in together from the cloak. And let's use the cobalt turquoise. If you just got a full set of polychromos out of your coloring books, what book would you choose to color first? A Johanna one. Easy. <laughs> I don't know which one, but it would be a Johanna one. Nina paper that I bought before and I've never had an issue. Weird. Yeah, Nina's usually pretty good. All right, cobalt turquoise. I would send it back for sure. I wonder if they changed it. Gosh, I hope not. I love the Nina paper. All right, so we're doing that cobalt turquoise. I don't know what we're gonna do with the middle ones. I haven't decided. I'm kind of thinking just like a lighter color. Let's get the light green. Okay. The light green. There we go. And a little bit there. And then let's grab our aquamarine. Go a little bit there. there go. All right, and then let's use our blender. A counterfeit ream, is that a thing? I didn't really, I mean, I know that counterfeit pencils are a thing, but I'd never heard of the counterfeit reams of paper. 
Was it from the same uh, like seller that you purchased it from before or was it different? A lot of times if I'm ordering the same thing, I'll just go back into my orders and like place an order for the same thing that I purchased the first time. Okay, let's use a little bit of the dark purple. There we go. And along the side of the cloak. Okay. Basically feels like white, fine, fine white sandpaper. That's weird. Okay, we're gonna use the blender. There we go. And then let's use a little bit of the black. Just a little bit under where her hair is at. And actually we're gonna do it along the side, the purple as well. And then we will blend that. Oh, I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, that is weird. wakes up one day and says, hmm, I think I'm going to get in the counterfeiting business. <laughs> All right, there we go. All right, let's zoom out just a little bit. So you're getting a little bit of light glare, but I'm going to turn it and like lift it a little bit. See, I swear this is more, this is more green. All right, let's use a little bit of the cobalt turquoise. We're going to do this little tie here and then we're going to do some leaves. Okay. And we will do uh, words on stream at the end too. All right, and then let's go ahead and do light aqua. Okay, you get a little bit of aquamarine. Okay, and let's get a little bit of light green. There we go. And we're gonna wipe off. Uh, prism color there. We'll do just a little bit of white. And let's get a tiny bit of black. Did the reviews uh, on Amazon say anything about people that were upset with what they got? Okay, there we go. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is some rough paper. Okay, let's go ahead and do a few of the leaves. Now, we're obviously gonna be having, I don't know, I feel like any actual, if I learned anything from this, I feel like green green would kind of clash with it. So I think we're gonna go for definitely some fall colors. So let's go ahead and start with, we're gonna get some browns. Let's get chocolate. And we're gonna get, let's see, what browns do I have over here? This one here, this is dark brown. And we've got, that is the black raspberry. We have the light umber. Let's see, this one is the dark umber for sure. Um, let's get, let's get, hang on, I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. Let's get a little bit of ginger root. It would damage the printer. I mean, I can't say for sure, but I think more than anything, it would um, like print funny. Like it might bleed if there's a lot of texture to it. Okay, sepia. So let's also grab um, burnt ochre, I think. Get kind of a warmer one in there too. So we're definitely gonna do some fall colors. Let's just do one of these ones that are up here, right? The ginger root color is so nice. Okay, so let's start with, and now I don't, if you wanted to, you could always grab like a picture of a leaf and like kind of follow that. But I think we're just gonna kind of go on instinct. And we are gonna start with sepia. Okay, we're gonna go up the middle first. A little bit out, kind of following where I put some of the shadows, but then also the natural lines of the leaf. So, I mean, because let's be honest, when we look at a leaf, it's not all just one color. There's a fair amount of colors in it. We are gonna follow the lines. Okay. 
little bit on the edges here. We'll definitely blend these out. In areas where the leaf overlaps, you're gonna add a little bit more shadow. Okay, and then let's go ahead, what do we have? We have dark brown. Yeah, I think dark brown would be good. Okay, so we're gonna go in with dark brown now. Now I'm going lightly because it's gonna be a lot easier to add other colors once I have these the rest of these kind of mapped out and figured out where I want them. Okay, so we're just using that dark brown. And then let's go ahead and grab a little bit of the light umber. I'm not going to cover the whole thing with it yet. There we go. All right, light umber is going to go here. Right, and then let's go ahead and go in with the ginger root. We're gonna give it a quick sharpen. Okay. So ginger root, I'm gonna go over with the rest of it, fill in the rest of that space, but we're not done yet. We still have more layers to add. Okay, now let's go ahead and grab the burnt ochre. Give this a sharpen because I want a nice, super, super fine point. Okay. But this is also a considerably warmer brown than the rest of the leaves, so I want to be careful not to add too much of it so I can get everything else kind of balanced out. Okay, so again, this one is the burnt ochre. Ooh, a laser printer. Yeah, you'll have to let me know how it works out, but. For coloring, yeah, that might be a little a little bit rough of an adjustment if it has that much juice. And really, this isn't just for the leaves I've drawn. You can use this kind of um, scratchiness on the end. Um, this kind of style of coloring it for any leaf that's similar in shape to this. And the nice thing about this warmer brown too is because it's more similar to like an orange or a red. And we've got a blue green here, which is gonna look really nice with kind of a, a red or an orange because complementary of green is red, complementary of blue is orange. All right, let's go ahead and go in with the chocolate. Oh, not going to try, not going to try. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, so now we're gonna do the chocolate. Oh, we get an exclamation point bloop in chat. I didn't even put any pressure down. Poor little sad chocolate pencil. Exclamation point bloop. That was sad. Please don't be shattered all the way down. That would make me a sad panda. Just ordered another ream for my regular seller. I was just gonna have to not print anything for a week. Uh, a bloop with two O's, with two O's. <laughs> all right. So chocolate, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Pencil snap emote. That was so sad. Like I barely put any pressure on it. Just bloop. Okay then pencil. I guess we're just not feeling it today. That's all right. We all have those days. Yeah. As the lead dejectedly falls to the desk, it said bloop. Can't be heard emitting from the barrel of the pencil. Poor bloop lead. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we're gonna be going with some of our darker ones again. Let's grab the sepia. There we go. Too bad you don't live near each other. I have an old jet that we sacrificed, but not my laser jet. <laughs> I was thinking last night, like, I know I say it sometimes, but it would still be cool if there was some sort of coloring convention. That would be so fun to go to. I wouldn't have the foggiest idea how to begin, like, arranging something like that, but it would be cool. Okay, um, let's add a little bit of the dark brown. 
Yeah, well, this Nina, this Nina cardstock really doesn't have that much tooth. I mean, you can see the sketchiness of the pencil before I burnish it that, you know, it does have some tooth, but it doesn't have a ton. All right, let's go and use our blender and see where we're at and then we can even out the rest of the colors. Right, it would be awesome. It'd be so fun. Coloring Con 2023. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna use the blender. I'd go to that. We just need like Prismacolor to sponsor the whole thing. Brought to you by Prismacolor. My gosh, can you imagine how much money they would make? There we go. Oh, see, I like that. It's kind of similar to her hair. We're gonna darken this up a little bit though. So let's grab our uh, sepia. Okay, we're gonna go a little bit darker. There we go. Just kind of trying to smooth out some of these edges. And in fact, we're gonna go back and add a little bit of shadow where this leaf should be. We are pressing harder now. Yeah, right, if they could send vendors. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. I was looking at um, VidCon because that's like, that's YouTube there, but that seems a lot more complicated and I think you have to be a pretty big, uh, pretty big YouTuber to like get booze for those ones. You know, like Jazza could do it, Sarah Renee Clark could do it. Like it's a big thing. I guess the US location for 2023 is gonna be in Baltimore. Okay, let's use a little bit of ginger root. Hi, Annette, no worries. Yeah, a few bigger companies, some indie companies, artists, exactly. All right, so we're gonna use ginger root kind of like we would use the white to just kind of smooth things out. So we're pressing a little bit harder. We can always go back in with some, uh, what was that? It was the burnt ochre, I think. We don't wash it out completely. There we go. All right, let's go in with a little bit. A little bit of the 941, which is the, oh wait, that's light umber. I want the burnt ochre. Okay. Here, just a bit. There we go, not too much. Right, oh my gosh, I know, I've been watching, I've, I've started following some of those and some of their some of their watercolors, I was like, oh my gosh, they're beautiful. Uh, Boulder Colors is one of the ones that I follow, B-O-U-L-D-E-R. All right, now we're gonna use the sepia. We've already kind of gone over the line, so we're gonna bring that sepia down here. And up onto the branch portion here. Same thing down and here. And let's get the light umber. Just a little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna grab the, let's see, this is the moss green. We're gonna grab moss green. Is it still on frame? Yes. Okay. And in fact, we could add a little bit of moss green to this leaf as well. Not a ton, but just enough to give it a little bit of color variation. Okay, now let's go ahead and use our black. Where did it go? There it is. Bye, Ronnie. Thanks for being here. All right, so we're going to do a little bit of black under the leaf. We're going to blend it through. Don't worry. I also want to bring, now that I'm looking at it, I want to bring a little bit more from under the hood as well. And so I'm trying to look where there's not a glare. I'm going to do under the braid. 
Okay, and then let's grab our cobalt turquoise. And we're gonna use that to kind of smooth out that black because at this point we have quite a few layers of pencil on her cloak. There's a little bit more of that dramatic shadow that offers a little bit more contrast. So it's not just kind of muddy. And I mean, I could spend forever adding like more shadow in places, but where everything's overlap, overlapped, I like to make sure that I keep those shadows there. And then we can use that cobalt turquoise to just kind of blend it through. There we go. Zoom out a little bit. I'm liking that. I think that'll look, welcome back, Steve. I think that'll look really nice when it's all done. How are we feeling about it? I will get a picture of it so you guys can see what it truly, uh, what it truly looks like color wise, because the colors are definitely off on the screen just a bit. Like this looks a little bit more purpley than pink. And this definitely looks a little bit more green than blue, but yeah. I think that's pretty good. Well, do you guys want to hop over and do a little bit on word, a little bit of words on stream before we go? Let's go ahead and we're going to pause the music. Okay. We'll turn it up a little bit. And then we're going to grab this little link. And we're going to move over here and I'm going to put this link there. I'm gonna be good there there we go all right we got the volume up let's turn the sound on 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 perfect okay <laughs> yes yes we love words on stream all right time for our time for our little wind down bring my mic over there okay everybody ready ah you're fine and if you haven't played before you just type your answers in chat and because the game is linked to it all right so here we go Okay. Mm. Nape. Wind down my foot? What's wind down my foot? <laughs> uh, let's see. Trying to think of what the six letter would be. Oh, peanut! Oh, that's good, Jennifer. You guys are good. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh, you guys are so fast. Uh... Oh, wait, what about... Did I go? Yeah, tune! Yay! Hunt. <laughs> uh, let's see... Oh, what about... A tune? Huh? Oh, I thought a tune was gonna be one. Oh, Auntie! Oh, Steve! Hi, Steve. Auntie's good. Oh, on to Quay. The next one's gonna start with an N. What about... Hmm. N with an N, A... Not Nate. I know it's a name, but maybe it actually means something. Or maybe ne Neku? Not? Oh, that's a good guess. Pent. Let's see. Mm, nept. Idea. Hmm. I'm trying to think. No, pent was a word. Yeah, like pent up anger. Pent up anger. It's kind of like uh, bottling something up. Napped. Pont. What the heck is pont, Steve? <laughs> uh. Neep! Nice one, Leslie. Sneaking it in there. Very nice. Skip three levels. We blew that one out of the water. All right, Shannon, number one spot. Very nice. What we got? Hmm. If we had one more D, it would be diamond. Let's 
see. Made. Oh! Oh no, I'm still locked. I know it. I know what it is. Ah, Steve got it. I had it typed out, but I couldn't put it because I was still locked. Steve stole my word. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, what about, what about Dino? Dino Mari. A mid. Okay, okay. Hmm. It's funny, when I type it through OBS, there's like a lag for my word coming through. I wonder if I move this over here and type actually like in chat. Let's see. Nomad. That's not good. Uh, amino. Amino acids. Um, let's see. What about Noid? <laughs> That's fun. Oh, well, no, because I guess it's... Well, not like a beaver dam, isn't that D-A-M? I'm surprised. Let's see. Moid. I don't know, I'm just guessing now. Mid. Dion. Dion! <laughs> D. No, that's that's two eyes. Dane. Oh, Dane's good. I wonder if that one's D A N E. Is it? In? Yeah. Hmm. Well, we got it anyway. Fifty-eight out of forty-one. Well done. Very nice. Leslie, ooh, and total ranking and and for that level. Nice, Leslie. Um <laughs> Leslie, yay! <laughs> Ouch! Dang, Durbin, look at you jumping in here. Let's see. Noses. Losing. Okay. Um, less. Right, Ness, like Nessie. Oh, eons. Yeah. Hmm. Souls. Oh, we made it. Good job, Durbin. Durbin's going for the big words. Hmm. Loans. That's oh, it'll help if I type the right one. Loans. Hmm. Lens. Okay. Noels. Is there a plural of Noel? Oh, there is. Ha. <laughs> Ones. Oh, it is. Okay, cool. Sweet. I'm getting all the obscure words. Hmm. Sans. Sans a word. Longs. <laughs> Nelson. <laughs> hmm. Olays. I have no idea. Oh my gosh, that is. <laughs> Typing random words. Okay, I guess that was one. Ooh, right there at the end. Nice, Tina. All right, who's number one on this one? I have a feeling it's probably Durbin. Oh, it's me! Oh, yay, all the little ones worked. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, guys. I don't want to jump in that one. All right. Uh. Oh, there's a fake letter. Bluff. All right, so we know those ones are real. I'm gonna guess the G is the fake letter. Unless somebody proves me wrong. Oh wait, no, I'm still locked. All right, someone type in flag. Someone type in flag. <laughs> Boff. <laughs> I like it, Annette. Oh, wait, I'm unlocked, I'm unlocked. Durbin, good, okay, we got flagged. That's good. Uh. Oh wait, flag didn't go. 
Oh wait, because there's the G is probably the fake one. Okay. I said that myself. Like you, you'd think I'd remember that. Hmm. Boff, buff. Let's see, it wouldn't be bath because then it would have been above it. What's in between boff and buff? Hmm. Bloff. <laughs> I'm really curious what's between boff and boff and bath. What does boff mean anyway? Hmm. Oh. Oh no, wait, because the G's not. Mm, I keep forgetting about the G. It's throwing me off. I keep wanting to use the G. Hmm. D, nice. Buffalo. Hmm. Ball with a O U L. <laughs> Boof. B O U F. Bowl. B O A L. Well, we got it anyway. 101 out of 78. Oh, a foul, Annette. Nice. Sneak it in at the end. Who's number one? Annette, very nice. Oh, I'm still in overall. Woo! <laughs> you made that up. It seems to be the, like the ones that work. All right, there's a fake letter. Okay, let's just type in love. See if that goes through. I'm I'm suspicious of the V. Hmm. Yeah, I bet you it's the V. Uh, let's see. What about lope? Is, is lope? Oh! Oh no, wait, elope. Oh, but lope is a word, okay. We just don't have the two E's. Hmm. Flop. Hopeful! Yep, the V is definitely the fake letter. We need just like one more word and we'll make the goal. Um. Blue, blue. Oh, nice. Good job, guys. Oh, flu. Ha! I got it. I was just typing random words. Hulp. Is hulp a word? <laughs> That's like help when you have water in your mouth. Hulp. Hulp. Hmm. Well, we made our goal, that's for sure, but there's another five letter word. And two more four letter words. Pule, what? I don't know what pule means. Huh. Fulp. I'll try that. Fulp. Oh no, there's no more ones that start with F. Probably gonna be another one that starts with P. What about pule? Oh well. Flo. Flu. Flooty floop. <laughs> Fofol, that's when you're hopeful for foe. <laughs> Very nice, 104 out of 71, level 11. I wonder what our highest level is that we've gotten so far. I don't have done pretty good. All right, Tina, very nice. All right, hidden letter and fake letter. What about mayor? Is the fake letter an O? 17. See, Shannon, I just need to ask you all the questions. You have a great memory. Uh, let's see. Oh, ream, as in Ev got a scratchy ream of paper. Oh, I wonder if the M is the fake letter. Hmm. Let's see. Eerie. What about weary? Tire. Oh, yeah, that's the other spelling. Oh, nice, Petra. Welcome. Let's see. I think the M is the... What is the... What is the hidden letter? Have we figured out the hidden letter? Oh, what about rate? Treat. Oh, it's a second T. It's a second T. Uh, okay, so what else could you do... 
If the M is the fake letter... Oh, guys, we might not make it. <laughs> Steve, we made it, yay, ratty. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Artie? Is Artie my A R T Y? Said A R T T Y. Ooh, tart and tarty. <laughs> Tart should totally be in there. Oh, Shannon got her. Okay, and Tarty. Why weren't mine working? <laughs> uh, oh, what about Taddy? Taddy word? Yay! Oh, no, wait, Tater. <laughs> we did it! All right. I got like two small ones. There's no way I can still be on the overall. Good. Okay, Annette, Annette, number one for both. Very nice. Digging behind. Yeah, make sure your slider is all the way right. I have it on ultra low latency, so I can't make it any closer. I think there's like a three or four second delay or something. All right, hidden letter and fake letter. I'm sus of that Z. Send. Enter. Maybe there's two E's in there. <gasps> there is! Oh! Yay! The hidden letter is another E! Real! No, I'm I'm all. Alright, someone can take the word real! <laughs> there we go. Real. Enter! Very nice. Uh let's see. Wait, why didn't real work? Real should work. Or is that just a word that Instagram made up? Uh let's see. Leery, very nice. Oh, which means leer. Oh, wait, because there's no four letter words. That's why there's no four letter words. Um. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> Steve's yelling, it's only five. <laughs> uh. Cerny? Cernt? I don't know. I'm just typing in words now. Um, oh guys, this is rough. This may have gotten us. Hmm. Ooh, center. Okay, elect. Okay, okay, keep going, guys. Keep going. Recent. We can do this. Um, my brain's not working. What about... Certainty. Yeah. Recently. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sently! Is Sently a word? Rently! Oh no! No! <laughs> 17! Okay guys, I have a question. I know it's 12.07, but do you guys want to do one more and we can try and get past level 17? Do we want to try again? Do we want to play one more? Because I would be down for one more. Yes? Yes? Okay. <laughs> One more. Easily with a Z. I like it. All right, look at that. Okay, so for that one, ranking level 17 is Sarah, and total ranking is Annette. Very nice. What are what are the rewards? I'll have to check that at some point. All right, here we go. It is fun. I know, I love it. All right. Fun and anagram. Sock. <laughs> Yay! Also, sack. Someone can type in sack. Socks, very nice. Sack, sacks. There we go. Hmm. There was an L, we could do class, but that's not a thing. Mm, cassock? What the heck is cassock? I don't even know. I'm going to dictionary.com on that one, Dick. Dictionary.com. Cassock. What is that word? A long, close fitting garment worn by members of the clergy or others participating in church services. A light, lightweight, double breasted ecclesiastical coat or jacket worn under the Geneva gown. A member of the clergy. I had no idea. 
That's hilarious. Oh, a priest wears it. There you go. Hmm, let's see. Asks. Oh, very nice. Okay, so for sack, what about sacks? S A C S. Yay! Guys, oh, one more, one more. Hmm. Hmm. So look. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What about co cocas, cocas? Maybe. Oh, it is one. Oh, guys, we got all of them before the time was out. I feel like we should get a bonus for that one. Nice, fantastic, sweet. I think that was our first one we finished completely. Uh, let's see. Like load, like a lodestone. Hmm. Do. No, I'm trying to think. Floater. Floater with one O. I'm trying to think of what the six letter word would be. Folder. Oh, that's one. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, in that case, fold. Ha ha. <laughs> Yay, I got one. What about door? D O R E. Refold! Fold and refold! I like it, Annette. <laughs> hmm. Elfer. Yep, that's a word. Hmm. Older. Okay, so it's gonna start with an L or an R. Lore. Lord Lorf. Is Lorf a word? A, B, C, D, E, F. F comes after E. <laughs> I cannot be the only one that has to like say it out loud. Road as an R O E D. Road. <laughs> Lero. Re. Oh, redo. Redo. That's gotta be it. Yay! Are we gonna get the last word? It's either gonna start with a. Ah, do it! We did it again! Oh my gosh. See, we just needed to do uh, like a warm-up one. And now we're getting them all before the time actually runs out. So that's cool. Okay, there's a fake letter. That Q looks sus. Pin it! Cha-ching! The Q is a fake one. Ha ha ha! Uh, we can do pant. Yeah, Shannon got pant. Pennant. The angels win the pennant. Anybody know what movie that's from? <laughs> Nape. I was just thinking that one. Yeah. Neep. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's a good. Steve, it has to be fake. There's no you. <laughs> uh, what about panty with an E? Not, not, not with a Y. <laughs> or P, P and Hmm. Annette. <laughs> hmm. Five letter words. Pete, there you go. What about panne, like panna cotta? Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, what about penta? Like a pentagram. Patten. Interesting. No, penta, isn't it? Pain. Hmm. Tannin with an I, like tannins and grapes. Either way, we made it. Guys, we're doing so good this time. All right. Skip three levels. We are at level 10. All right, fake letter. Well, this is a heck of a group. Okay, nice. 
nice and easy. <laughs> um. Gosh, what would be the Amiens? That's not a word. Amiens. I'm gonna guess that the B is the fake letter. In. Um. Income. Income. What is that word? That's, that's not a word, but those are the letters. Income! Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, Dominique already did income. Oh, what about comic? Did we do that? Oh, no, Durbin did that. Okay. I'm really curious what the full one is. Comic Con! Yeah, <laughs> Durbin <laughs> thought the same way. Once, okay. Hmm. Oh, guys, we need one more. We need one more word. One more word. Um. Noose. No. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. Thank goodness, Durbin. Yay, icon. <laughs> um. Oh no, the bone, the, I was gonna put bone, but the B is the fake letter. Dang, I wonder what that big word was. Coincidentally, there you go. <laughs> but we did it, yay! Enjoy the next level. Oh, we don't get to skip three levels with that one. All right, level 11. Durbin, look at you. All right, fake letter. Oh, we have a U this time. What about quasi? Mars. Okay. So the R and the S and the M are all good. Samurai. The Q. Okay. The Q is the fake one. Samurai. Nice, Rinka. A miss. Ames. Rums. Aura. A miss was totally a word. Maybe it has two S's. Uh, arms. Oh no, Leslie already did arms. Um, see, I want to do like squirm, but that's not. Oh, we're close, guys. We're close. Uh. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Rams, rums, ru, rusa. I don't know. It's my brain's not working. Um, oh, I'm panicking, panicking, guys. We need like one more word. Someone get a five more word. Uh, mm, Murray's, Murray's, serum, serum, Murus, Mur. Sorry, okay. Oh my gosh, one more word, guys. One more word, one more word. Eee! Thank you, Steve. Yay. Okay, we get to move on to the next level. Thank goodness. Huh. What about Aria? Oh, Arias. Someone do Arias. Someone do Arias with the S. Plural Aria. Oh, so close, Durbin, so close. But yay, oh, look at Steve, number one over there. Very nice. Woven. Rove, okay, so woven, one of those letters, isn't it? Rove. Bone, I'm wondering if it's the V. The V seems sus. Re... Rebone? <laughs> Re one. Ren? Yay, I got one. OK, 
Okay, so if the V is the fake letter, newborn, very nice, Petra. Well, <laughs> Deborah, <laughs> it held yours for for review. Let's see, uh, worn, worn. Well, we we completed the level, so that's good. Oh, born with an E. Okay. Hmm. Roan, roan. Hmm. Bow with an E, maybe? Oh, no, all the B ones are taken, so it's going to be R or W. Roan. With a W. Oh, new. Baru. Oh, that's no roo. Boru. I don't know. I'm just typing random words now. <laughs> no, that's good. We got it though. Let's see if it'll it'll if it'll bump us up a few levels. We just our goal is to get past level 17. We get to skip two levels. Woo! Level 14. Sounds good, Annette. Thanks for being here. Posse. With an E. Okay, one of those is the fake letter then because it didn't pop up. Because I know posse is a word. Sips. Okay. Hmm. I think the E is the fake letter, guys. Oh my gosh, Steve, I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> yeah, I think the E is the fake letter. Oh, I wonder if the hidden letter is a G. <gasps> yes, the hidden letter is a G. Okay, so what does that open up for us? Be goes, goss, goat, pigs, okay. Uh, what about so soggy with one G? Hmm. Cozy, I like it. Hmm. Oh, what about gossipy? Yes! Oh, guys, we're so close. Ten more points. Ten more points. We can do this. We can do this. What about goss? Or guess? Yes. Mm. Oh, this is rough. Oh, Gypsy! Yes, Petra! Yay! We did it. That was close. Gossipy. It's so funny. There we go. All right. Let's see. What I didn't notice. What level? Oh, level 15. We're at level 15. Okay. Fake letter and hidden letter. Um. Near. Oh, yeah. Tina, we chose. We thought the same thing. Okay. So it's going to be an N, E, and A, or an R. What about Nair? Reap. Okay. So I'm going to guess the N. The N probably is the fake letter. Rare. Okay. Okay. Um. So, what would be a good? It's probably a consonant. Pear. Oh, cause you guys did P. So yeah, it's it's a it's a P. Okay. So oh, what about pine pine green pine green? <laughs> oh wait, cause pine the the N is the N is that. I hate that word, Sarah, but that might be one of them. I don't know. I thought it had some sort of filter on it that didn't allow certain words. Pear. 
Oh, what about P-A-R-E pair? Okay. Nair? No, no, wait, the N isn't it. I keep, mm, that fake one is keep throwing me off. What about, pra, no. Repair, nice, Steve. Repairer, oh, we're close, guys, we're close. Uh, I ran. <laughs> oh, no, wait, it's no end. Dang it, I keep, I know that it's no end, but I keep, yeah. Hmm. Oh, what about Riper? Oh, guys, one more word. Yes! Woo! Rapier and Pier. And it looks like the word that we tried to get in a couple times, the not, not so awesome word, it wasn't in there anyway, so we're good. All right, level 16, guys, level 16, we can do this. We can do this. <laughs> Hidden letter and fake letter. Treat, okay. Patent, pattern, N is the hidden letter. I'm gonna guess Z is the fake letter. Hater, there it is. a word like more apt hmm patent okay definitely no four letter words patter rap -ter? no there's, there's an n okay Tr French? Natter, good job. And tur. <laughs> oh, what about panter? One who pants and trap. Oh, okay, all right. Hmm. These are hard. We're doing good though. Tarpon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice. Okay, well we're definitely making, oh wait, I wonder if we get to do a jump. <gasps> Skip two levels, guys. We've officially passed level 17. Now the question is, can we make it past level 18? That's what I want to know. Uh, just tried vision in case the hidden letter is another I. Coins, okay. Canvas, another A maybe for the hidden one? Panic. Casino. Yeah, in that case, the V is definitely. Okay, maybe it's another O. Occasion. Yes, it is another O. The hidden letter is another O. Um, in that case. Hmm. Okay, the V is fake. The V is fake, so. Cocos! Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh! Casinos! Maybe? Oh no, wait, there's only one S. <laughs> um, okay, let's do... I'm looking at the word occasions, because I know that's what it's... Let's see, uh... Oh, my brain's not working. This is hard. Okay, well, it's another C-O. C-O... Con... 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 
Moniz. That one in between Coco and Coins is gonna start with a C O. C O. Cones. Cocones. Cocon. Cocan. Oh no! Oh wait. <laughs> Cocaine. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nope. Okay. Cocaine didn't count. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, the uh, YouTube's gonna trigger me for that word. Oh my gosh, you guys, we played for like 30 minutes. That's crazy. But we got it to level 18, woo! Oh, that's good stuff. Oh my gosh, that's funny. So I guess we could say that each round takes about 15 minutes. That's fun though. <laughs> I know, right? I didn't even think about it before I said it. <laughs> Oh man. All right, here. Let's let's turn off cuz I should probably uh probably eat some eat some Where's my where's my There we go. There we go. I should probably eat some uh lunch at some point here cuz then I got to go get the kids. Okay. Fixing the uh fixing the audio. All right. You did good. I know, right? Well, I guess because that's spelled with an e at the end, isn't it? <laughs> Or it's never be working. It's fun though. I like that. I'm so glad we started doing that at the end. All right, everyone. Well, that's it for now. We'll come back on um, Friday, Friday, and then we will do. Um, let's see where where did where did my dashboard go? Sorry, I'm used to seeing a lot of things here. There we go. Um, okay, so we'll be back on Friday, and then we will go ahead and do a work in progress from Rooms of Wonder that we were working on. But thank you again, everyone, for hanging out. Uh, members, if you are a member, don't forget you have access to this image for this month. And also, if you're not a member, but you would still like to get it, I have a bundle on my Etsy store. You can check it out. Oh, yeah, Friday. We have a Steve stream. Well, I happen to have an extra book of Rooms of Wonder. So I think Steve and I will work on that. Does that sound good? We all want to do a Steve stream on Friday? Yes? Okay. All right, everyone. I'm going to wrap it up. I'm going to go get some lunch. Keep being awesome. Keep being amazing. And I will see you guys all Friday. And Steve will be here too. So be Steve Stream. All right, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. And I will chat with you all later. Bye.